Good evening, Rock Evangelical Church. It's a joy to lead all of us in singing this evening. I know it would be much better if we were all here together in this room, uh, hearing one another and hearing each other's voices. But for the time being, we have to make do with these kind of events. Uh, we do pray that and hope, uh, and we just as a team prayed this as well, that this will be encouragement to you uh, that have tuned in, that even from uh, your home right now, you would be encouraged as you hear songs of worship, songs of praise, uh, songs of trust, uh, reminding our, our, uh, ourselves of what Christ has done for us on the cross. And if you're tuning in and, and you're not following Jesus yet, maybe this, this will be um, compelling to you to see that we who follow Jesus have a hope. We have a hope that can't be quenched and can't be taken away from us, even in these trying circumstances. So let me pray, and then we'll start with some songs of praise in our first set. And if you have suggestions, feel free to put those in, your, in the YouTube comment section, uh, song suggestions. Um, you'll also find the full bulletin uh, at rackchurch.com slash sing, um, and you can suggest songs from that bulletin. Let me pray. Father, we come to you this evening. We want to praise and worship you through song um, and spiritual songs and hymns that we're going to be singing together. We praise you that you've given us this gift of song to uh, have deep truths that are, are given to us in your word and then to put them to melody uh, so that they are rooted deep into our hearts and our minds and that we can then, um, through various life trials, uh, know that uh, we have a sure foundation, we have a solid hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, bless us this evening as we sing songs of praise to you. Amen. First song is, Come praise and glorify our God. Our God is holy. And we see a beautiful vision of his holiness in Isaiah 6. And the amazing thing is that this holy God, where, who has angels uh, surrounding his throne at all times, that are forever and ever singing, Holy, 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 that this God invites us into fellowship with him through the Lord Jesus Christ and that we can come praise and glorify him even though we are unworthy sinners. And so these first two songs speak of God's majesty and also his uh, grace in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's praise our God together. Say 
mysterious and unknown. Your boundless love, unfailing in grace and mercy shown. Bright seraphim in ceaseless light around your glorious throne. They raise their voices day and night in praise to deserves the glory. He is, in fact, our stone of help. Uh, this next song speaks of raising our Ebenezer, which basically means that we are putting up the stone of remembrance, thinking to the past ways and how God has helped us, how he has saved us, how he has rescued us in so many ways and so many times in our lives. And so we want to also uh, remember God's faithfulness in our lives supremely in the Lord Jesus Christ, the fount of every blessing. Hither by thy help I'm 
For that day when we'll be finally freed from singing and in his presence forevermore and the very reason that we have confidence in that is because we have a high priest who uh, brings us into the very presence of a holy god the lord jesus christ who is our good and gracious king we have acceptance through him
deserve the greater glory. Overcome will lift my eyes to the King in need of nothing. Empty handed I rejoice. We serve and we have come to know a king who is good and gracious. This leads us to the next song. How can we know this sovereign God, this holy God who we've just spoken of? Well, it's through our Lord Jesus Christ because we in ourselves, we can bring nothing to this God. We, as we just sung as well, come empty handed. Nothing in my hands I bring. So what do we cling to? We cling to the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the rock of ages who was cleft, who was split open for us, for our salvation. Let's sing this wonderful hymn together. Rock of ages, cleft for me. Rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in behind our Lord Jesus Christ, who shields us from the wrath of God, the justice of God, by himself taking upon the punishment that we deserved. And this is how our Lord Jesus Christ went courageously to that hill, to Calvary, on that fateful day, but also the, the very best day of history, because there is where our salvation is is founded upon. Christianity is not about myths or legends. It's about real events that really took place. And the Lord Jesus Christ really going up that hill to pay for our sins so that we um, could say hallelujah. Praise be to God for the cross. This is what our next song speaks of. And after this song, I'm going to see if we have any requests. Oh 
up to the hill of Calvary, my Savior went courageously, and there he bled and died for me, hallelujah for the cross. And on that day the world was changed, a final perfect lamb was slain. This hope will guide me feet and see there's some suggestions. Okay, uh, someone suggested in Christ alone, so we're going to sing that one. Oh, that's the wrong list. Here, I got it. alone my hope is found he is my light my strength my song the 
this cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease, my comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. Scorned by the ones he came to save Till on that cross as Jesus died The wrath of God was satisfied For every sin it was laid Here in the death of Christ I live wonderful truths, what wonderful hope that we have in Christ alone. Our debt has been paid. Uh, Colossians speaks of uh, the record of debt that stood against us being nailed to the cross, and we don't have to bear it anymore. And so uh, this next song, The Lord is My Salvation, speaks of this glorious reality that our debt has been paid and the victory has been won. The Lord is my salvation. Let's make this our prayer. Pulled me from the raging sea, and I am safe on the solid ground. The Lord is my salvation. I will not fear. I will not fear when darkness falls. My faith will help me sail these walls.
give us salvation he is our salvation without the Lord Jesus Christ coming to us dying for us we would have no hope and so now as a result of what he has done for us we with the Apostle Paul want to say for me to live is Christ and to die is gain would that be the anthem of our lives that all we would have is Christ was lost in darkest night, yet thought I knew the way, the sin that promised joy in life had led me to the grave. I had no hope that you would own a rebel to
sing that would that be true for our lives would jesus be our life i think uh, we're gonna have a break in a second but um we have time maybe for one more suggestion
angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous reigns. of a few minutes and we'll uh, be back with another few songs for us.
Welcome back. We want to lead us into another few songs which um, speak of trust in the Lord and His good hand and His providence. This next song is new, um, it, it, at, but it's based on very old words, uh, the words that, that our Lord Jesus Christ Himself spoke in the garden, not my will, but your will be done. And this is what our attitude should be uh, as followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, to uh, submit to the will of the Lord. None of us ask for this lockdown, none of, us, none of us ask for a pandemic to be sweeping across the globe. And yet in, in God's mysterious providence, it's part of His plan somehow. We can't understand it. And so uh, even when the days don't seem to make sense, let us submit to His will and ask that He will be glorified in and through us as we, as we do that. Let's sing this new song together. heroes of the faith who've gone before us who did exactly that, who wanted to be God to be glorified in their lives, who went out in faith, risking everything um, and dying for the sake of the Lord Jesus Christ in order for God's will to be done in their lives and the lives of those around us. One such person was Jim Elliott and four other men who went uh, to Ecuador to reach the Hurani people there in 1956 and they were martyred for the sake of the gospel and the Lord Jesus Christ. And one hymn that they used to sing is this next one that we will be singing. Uh, we rest on thee, our shield and our defender. We 
Go not forth alone against the foe, strong in thy strength, safe in thy keeping tender. We rest on thee, and in thy name we go. that we have is that that is a certainty for all who have trusted in Christ. He will bring us home to glory. Even when we fear that our faith will fail, he will hold us. He will keep us. Uh, Psalm 121 assures us that God is our keeper. He does not sleep or slumber. and He will keep us in the palm of his hands. He will ensure that our soul will not be lost. Let's sing this next hymn together.
are very brief. Our earthly journey will soon be over. Each day that uh, passes is one day nearer to our final redemption, one day closer to the resurrection of our bodies. And the bright rays of those new heavens and the new earth are, are just peeking across the horizon like the rising sun. And glory awaits us in that land. Emmanuel's land. This is what our next song speaks of the sands of time.
what glory awaits us in Emmanuel's land. We'll pause for a second to see if there's some suggestions. We long and wait. We're gonna try this. A couple of people suggested uh, we we um, composed a song last time that we sang, and uh, both Caroline and Tabita want us to sing this one. So, two people. So uh, we're gonna try. We can sing it. Patient moms with groans unheard, hardship, pain, suffering. The struggle with this setting sin This too shall pass When Jesus comes at last We long and wait for our room to come And take us to our heavenly home The curse reversed will rise and sing Forever praising our risen Sword and pestilence. Our trials seem to make no sense. Rejection and shame lie down. Strangers here we feel alone. This too shall pass. When Jesus comes at last, we long and wait for the groom to come and take us to. Curse reverse will rise and sing forever, praising our risen King. Here the day of Him, our eternal hope, secures us sin. We will not fear the day of Him, our eternal hope, assures us this. We will not fear the day of ill, our eternal hope assures us still. We will not fear the day of ill, our eternal hope assures us still. Long and wait for our room to come and take us to our heavenly home. The curse reverse will rise and sing forever praising our risen. Okay. 
This last set um, is has a, a kind of a twofold theme. On the one hand, we want to be those because we have received salvation from our Lord Jesus Christ, because we've learned that we can trust this God, we want to make him known to the nations. Um, these next two songs speak of that reality uh, and our call, our commission to make Christ known because there is no other name by which men must be saved under heaven except for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 10 tells us, Everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, for the same Lord is Lord of all. For everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? How are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach good news. So we want to be those who herald the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ to those who are dying and without hope in this world. Let's sing this, these next two songs together, Facing the Task Unfinished, and Let the Nations Be Glad. Facing the task unfinished that drives us to our knees,
Our Lord Jesus Christ is the only name under heaven by which men must be saved. He has power to save. And the amazing thing is that God doesn't just call us into salvation uh, where it's all about duty. No, this is for our joy as God is glorified in us through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. This is for the joy of the nation. Psalm 67 says, O Lord, bless us so that your saving power will be made known among the nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. And that's our desire as well, that the nations will be glad in the Lord. comes down to in the end you know no, all of us in this life in some way form or another are leaving a legacy and the reality is that perhaps even a few decades from now maybe our names will even be forgotten 
And the only legacy that really matters is what we did for the sake of Christ. Uh, the scriptures remind us that if, it, if God doesn't build the house, the laborers labor in vain. And so uh, let this last song um, really uh, cause us to desire that God and Christ alone will be glorified in our lives. All glory be to Christ. Christ our King. We're going to check for a couple more suggestions, maybe one or two, and then we have uh, an encore for you as well.
Okay, so we had Jerusalem as one suggestion, and then Karen, be, it being her last time uh, with the full worship team, I think, before she leaves, she suggested on Jordan's stormy banks. So we're going to sing those in that order. saved us not just from our sin and from the penalty of our sin, but he is also one day going to save us from the very presence of sin. We'll be not able to sin anymore uh, on Jordan's stormy banks. We're bound for the promised land. Yeah. 
day and this side of heaven uh, sometimes we also have to say goodbye to people and we have to say goodbye tonight to someone who's been serving on music team for quite some time Karen is leaving us and heading to other shores across the Atlantic not to the promised land yet almost but not quite um, and we want to just give a small token of our appreciation for the ways that you have served this church so faithfully over the years um, it's too bad not more of us can be here to witness this, but um, thanks so much for everything on behalf of the church and the music team. Yeah. Thank you. And as one little treat, Karen also has one final song that she wants to share with us. It's not written by her, but it is uh, reminding us of the faithfulness of God, that he's always been faithful and he always will be faithful. So we'll close with this song.
Good night, everyone. The Lord bless.